Stereos Original. Welcome to Web Crawlers, the podcast where we do a deep dive into some of our favorite unsolved mysteries. Each week, we will introduce a topic, lay out our research and findings, reveal some conspiracy theories. Woo! Yeah, whoa! And conclude with our own hypothesis. Who knows? We might even solve a case. I'm Allie Siegel. And I'm Melissa Stetton. Web Crawlers has a Patreon to get access to rewards, bonus apps, shout outs, merchandise discounts, and in studio videos of full episodes a day early. Yeah. Insane. Please go to patreon.com slash web crawlers. You can donate as little as $2 a month to become one of our bimbo patrons. Also, we are currently having a Valentine's Day sale. Yeah, it's going to go, we'll extend it through the end of this week. I say let's, should we extend it through the end of February? End of, fuck it, end of February. I'm feeling generous. 14% off everything. Yeah. Are you feeling generous, Maria? I always am feeling generous, and I like that you guys did 14% off because it's February 14th. Yes. Exactly. I think that's so cool. I would have done 2% off because of February is a two, but (sighs) Melissa's nicer than I That would be like 10 cents off. People would be like, what the hell is this discount? Yeah. Well, you do, I mean, 14% is a lot of money. It is. It's basically like shipping, like it's free shipping. Free shipping. Well, that's awesome. I yeah. congratulate you. Auto- there's <laughs> no code needed. Everything's automatically discounted. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're a tech genius. Yep. Uh, we also have a cameo. <laughs> we have three cameos to record. Wow. Also, well, it's too late now. I was going to say record a Van- Valentine's Day cameo. Too late. Um, <laughs> too late. When, snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose. But we have three cameos. If you want a cameo, 10 bucks, web crawlers pod on cameo we will say and do almost whatever you want anything anything we'll do anything for money melissa who are our patrons we've got jackie s cool izzy okay gary t nice save bees please special shout out to save bees please yes steve s okay sarah j sure lauren okay jessica b okay i'm assuming it's jessica beale kirsten p okay and julie Hi, guys. Thank Welcome. you so much. Welcome to the gang. Erios Hotline. Oh, yeah. Should we... Do you, we have an Erios Hotline. Should we give out the number? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do the damn thing. Yeah, what it? What, what is, is it? What is? What it is? Maria, what it is? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll find it. I could have wrote can, it down. You can call and leave us a message, and yeah. then we'll, like, play the message. We'll read the message. Yeah. We'll respond to the message. Just... Yeah. Be sure to say for that which it's for show? web crawlers because it's for all Erio shows. All Erio shows. You can call in, you can call Maria at the at the big ones. Yeah, you, you can call the alarmist. Call you the can alarmist. Call, call Margaret, Margaret Cho. Cho. Yeah, see what she's up to. Okay, hold she'll on. answer. Yeah, but you want to call the, you want to call web, web crawlers. crawlers. You want to call web crawlers. It's hmm. oh boy. Well, hopefully, yeah. Okay, it's six two six six zero four. Six two six two. That's a lot of sixes. Yeah, say it one more time. How many? Six two six six zero four six two six two. Do you want to know how many sixes that is? Yes, three. That's four threes. <laughs> That's five. <laughs> what? Six 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 six, six. two There's six. Five. Okay, Allie, what were you counting? And by the way, like people are now getting angry at you. <laughs> For- for your bimbo ness. You got a scathing review. I know. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I, I, did, I I don't know about Allie. I fell asleep through history class. Yeah. I also, didn't go to a high school. I also, skipped every that day. Had nothing to do with the case we were cracking. We were talking about Hinterkaifeck, Germany, World War II. It was just Nazis. a side question where I was like, What's the Cold War? It was yeah, just, unrelated. I was just riffing. Yeah, I was just you, you know don't what? need to know what the Cold War is in you order to understand. I am confident enough that when I don't know something, I ask. Yeah, that yes. Yeah. But anyway, the number is six two six six zero four six two six two five. Yes, that's five sixes. Six two six six zero four six two six two. Toyota <laughs> web crawlers. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> let's let's get into our main story, Melissa. Okay, our main story. 
beauty and lifestyle blogger Marina Joyce soared to fame in 2016 when she released a creepy and unlike her video called Date Outfit Ideas. It ignited fear among her fans that something was seriously wrong with her. Her behavior started to get more and more frightening, leaving people to wonder, was she being held hostage and made to do videos? Or was she kidnapped by terrorists? Was she a drug addict? Was she having a nervous breakdown? Let's figure out what happened. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. I was obsessed with this case. That's not your catchphrase. Let's what is it? get Let's into get it. Let's get into it. Let's figure it out Let's what happened. Let's figure it out what happened. I'd like to switch it up. Yeah. Marina Joyce. Okay, so she's a YouTube blogger. She started her channel in 2012, which is basically when YouTube started popping off. Mm -hmm. She was 16 and she gained close to a million followers. Her channel basically showcased her personality. It was personal blogs, hair care, makeup, fashion, etc. Yeah, just all sorts of like lifestyle stuff. She's British. Mm -hmm. uh, she's kind of like a uh, like kawaii, uh, yes, anime, cutesy kind yes. of. She has like very stuff. big eyes and blonde yeah, hair. Blonde hair, and, yeah. kind of weirdo. But anyways, things got weird in 2016. So her comment section started getting strange with fans addressing that she seemed a lot skinnier. She had bruises all over her body. Her pupils seemed really dilated. Some of the comments were things like, does Marina look a lot thinner? She's being really jumpy. She's acting weird. Why doesn't she stop to take breaths between sentences? Is something up with her? She's becoming a different person. Her videos, like, they used to be normal, kind of cute. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she was rambling and not making any yeah, sense. Yeah, it seemed very, like, rushed. Yeah. And she was just, like, repeating herself. And, yeah. And, like, her eyes, she was just, like, staring off into the... It was very strange. Staring off into space, repeating herself a little, yeah. like, manic, quick, rushed. Yeah. A fan posted underneath one of her videos saying, is she okay? And someone replied, if you compare her newer videos with her older ones, you'll see a huge change in her personality. She's either on drugs or is depressed. Someone else replied, I think she does have a depression, and that's why she's taking drugs. Marina responded, yes, with a smiley face. And then right after said, no. Yeah. So it was super vague responses. Yeah, so we don't know what she was replying yes to and what she was replying no to. Right. It was strange. Yeah, she was pretty quiet and didn't post for a few months. And then she posted another video. Yeah, so this video was posted on July 2nd, 2016. And it had, it got over 43 million views. Yeah, to this date, it has 43 million views, which I think is like one of the largest YouTuber yeah. videos of all time. Yeah. So this video is what kind of started off the controversy. So she's in like a pink dress in a backyard. She's kind of twirling around. She's holding a car that says Style We, which I'm assuming is like the Company store or whatever, whatever she's promoting. And she seems kind of confused and she's repeating herself. And it's very different from all of her previous videos. And then someone's hand comes into the screen like they're pointing at like telling her like where to go. Which is weird because all of her previous videos had been like it's just her front facing videos or tripod videos. Yeah. And it's just her. And she looks kind of scared, but she's smi like forcing a smile. Yeah. And some people pointed out that the house in the back, it appeared that there were bars on the windows maybe? yeah but other people are like those are just blinds okay. but yeah but people yeah. thought they the windows had bars yeah and she has bruises all over her arms and her yeah. back bad ones. she's like spinning around it's like what is going on and then 15 seconds into the video you can if you turn up you can hear a faint help me yeah and uh, you can hear it i, yeah, listen, you to I listen to it too yeah. you can absolutely yeah. hear the video i mean hear it in the video yeah but what's weird is that 
I can't find this video on her personal page. Yeah, it's not on her channel. So I think she deleted it. But, I mean, it's on YouTube, like other people uploading right. it. Right. But I was going through videos. I'm like, where is this video? Like, And she deleted it. She de- I think she deleted a lot of the videos from this weird era. Which is era crazy because if you have 43 million views on a video. You keep that shit. I don't care what yeah. was going on with you in that video. Yeah. I don't care if you're shitting your pants. Yeah, you that's, keep that. that's cash money. Yeah. Then this video like flips out her fans because they're like, something is wrong with Marina. The video obviously goes viral with 43 million views. And it starts off the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag save Marina Joyce. And I remember when this happened because I was like on Twitter and all of a sudden I see save Marina Joyce is trending. I'd never heard of her before. And I clicked on the hashtag and that's the first time I ever went down this rabbit hole. Oh, like three, three, four years ago. Yeah. Three, years ago. That's how I found out oh. about her. Oh. Yeah. So then Marina disabled all the ratings on her videos. Yeah. Why would you do that? I, I, I don't know. I think that people were going crazy and like. Did she disable the comments or just the ratings? It was like the thumbs up, thumbs down thing. That I you think can... the thumbs up, thumbs down thing, because I think that people were thumbs downing her oh. videos. Oh, because they were scared or didn't I know guess. what was going on. I think that people thought that she had been kidnapped, so they started thumbs downing her oh, videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. So fans contacted the police to go to her address and check on her because they were really scared, mm-hmm. but she no longer lived there. Yeah, it was like an address that a fan had yeah, posted. Yeah, posted like previously. Weird. Yeah. So the fans started doing more digging, and this, this was like fans trying to crack the case, yeah. which is People do that now more, but this is the first kind of starting of fans trying to crack something. And they found out that Marina was friends with another YouTuber called Alicia Cat, who was a big raver. Oh, yeah. I saw a picture of them together. Yeah. Raving it up. Right. Yeah. So they found this picture on the Internet. So people are like, huh, could it be drugs? Oh, and that girl was really into like weed culture, too. Yeah. She was a big pothead. Yeah. Which we all know. That can hardest, kill you. The hardest it drug of all. It can kill you. Yeah. Jeez. Pot, Don't pot get into will it. Kill you. Gateway drug. Unless it's our favorite feels. CBD brand feels. That's right. I love that. I've been using that stuff. I love it. So three days after that video on July 25th, an anonymous document was posted online. Yeah, it was posted on, I think it was Twitter, but it was, an, it was, or it was like an image hosting site. So nobody knows where it came from. Okay, tell me about this one because I hadn't seen this. So it it basically just describes all of the weird things that are happening in their videos. It's the document starts off. It says this needs to be addressed. It says do not go to the party, please. Marina's Twitter account, which Marina probably does not have control over, has tweeted about a party. Do not go there. There have been reports of shootings in the location. Yeah, so we'll get we'll get to the party in a little bit. And then it says, I have a feeling, along with many other people, that someone is forcing Marina to make these videos, most likely her boyfriend, but it is possible that she could have been kidnapped or she's overdosing on drugs. Her eyes keep trailing off. Her language seems weird. She's repeating herself. They go in to describe the, the date outfit ideas video that we just described. And then they talk about this everyday makeup tutorial Mm-hmm. It says you can visibly see some type of shotgun or rifle near her dresser, starting from 1 minute 43. And there are containers on her nightstand, which could contain anything from medicine to sleeping serum, as well as drugs. And you can hear, see how she hears the car and quickly shifts her eyes over to where the sound is coming from. And she starts talking quicker. Mm-hmm. And she uses an outro from older videos and you can see how she appears thinner than usual which could also be another side effect of drug use Mm -hmm. uh and then yeah this video this makeup tutorial there's just like a shotgun leaning against the wall yeah it's so crazy so in the everyday makeup tutorial there is a shotgun in the background leaning against a wall and she's like hugely thin in the q a video it's like she's talking around in circles she blinks a lot She notices something off screen and the video jump cuts and then it just stops and ends. Yeah, like she, it seems like she noticed something and then was like, oh, got to finish this video. Yeah. It was weird. She like looks outside. She's like in the middle of a sentence. She looks outside and then all of a sudden the video is over and she's like, subscribe to my channel. And then it's like done. (laughs) Yeah. Then there's another video where she is jumping. She's like, look at my socks. Yeah. And then people alleged to hear chains when her legs move and like you can kind of hear I, I don't know if it sounds like chains yeah. it's something's like 
yeah, people are like, she's You can she's hear something shackled. kind of rattling, but yes. people are like, oh my God, she's shackled. She's yeah. chained to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then in an Instagram picture she posted, you can see condoms and a tea kettle on the side of her bed, and she appears to be crying in the photo. Yeah, so that set people off to be like, because all of these in conjunction with one another, are like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, these are something. all within like a short period of time. Yeah, and yeah. it went from her being totally normal mm-hmm. to like, one month video after video of things being yeah. totally weird. And people are like, maybe she's like a sex slave or something weird yeah. is happening like that. And then if you zoom in on her eyes in one of the videos, you can see the reflection of a man in a ski mask. <laughs> I think it's the tripod. Yes. But yeah, I can see how people, I can see how people see that. But also like fans are so crazy. Fans are crazy. Also, but the, we would do that. I would do that. <laughs> yeah. If I was like a super fan of someone and I started, was like, oh my God, what are they doing? Like, I would for sure. I actually think dig that in. recently, didn't a stalker do that of like Selena Gomez or something? Didn't they zoom in to the reflection on her sunglasses oh, to find out where she was? Yes. I think that that was yes. something that happened. Was that Selena Gomez? I don't know. I it was someone. Someone, a stalker zoomed in on the reflection yes. of her sunglasses to find out yes. where she he or she was. That's great sleuthing. That's fantastic. It's slash inspiring. Crazy. It's inspiring yeah, it's, it's slash crazy. crazy. And inspiring. Something I would do. Yeah. Um, so after this document appeared explaining all her weird behavior, Marina tweeted, she said, this is very sweet, guys, but I'm okay. Seriously, love you all so much. Hashtag save Marina Joyce. Yeah, Everyone like, was like, don't uh, hashtag. okay. And her fans were not buying it. Someone who apparently met her in real life posted... On her Instagram, I believe, it said, I saw you at the Spartan party on the weekend. We checked in on you a couple times because some creepish looking guys had their arms around you. You seemed lovely. And everyone was like freaked out over that. Like, where yeah. is she? What? Who are these men? That- who are these men? Yeah. Um, so then fans started breaking down her tweets. Oh, yes. Which we love to do. So <laughs> she tweeted randomly, hope everyone likes pancakes. And, and now it, take the first letter. Yeah, take the first letters of hope everyone <gasps> likes pancakes. Yeah, yeah girl, what does it spell? Hole. No. <laughs> Who are you, Allie Siegel? <laughs> it spells help. Yes. Hope everyone likes pancakes. Now, why else would you tweet that if you're not trying to call for help? Call for help. It's a cry for help. So then she says, she also tweets. I'm totally fine, guys. I am feeling very good today. And it's actually so heartwarming to see so many people care about me. Mm -hmm. So then people circled. We'll post these on our Instagram. People circled what the letters like add up to. Yeah, uh, they line up. Vertically. And it lines up to it's a lie. (laughs) So. It does. Get woke. Uh, woke. So people are like, she's she's crying for help. What's a lie? This tweet, the tweet's like a she's lie. not okay. She's tweeting like, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Oh. So people are... Pe- okay, why can't she just tweet out, help me? Because she's, she's kidnapped. kidnapped. Okay, got it. But they can't see <laughs> they're, They can't see that she's hiding these... Med- why would she be able to tweet if she's kidnapped? Because the, They want to make it seem like everything's normal. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't they just tweet as her? That's probably what... Well, no, Allie, because the, <laughs> she, they wouldn't be sending hidden messages. You know, we like to look at all angles of all possibilities. Because they probably they crawlers. probably want her to be like a weird workhorse. Maybe they're fetishy over her. Do they probably like they probably kidnapped her because they like Marina Joyce, the YouTuber, so they want her to keep doing her stuff. And she's like, "Help me." Okay, I don't know. No, I think that's a great um, way to look at it. <laughs> What's the Colton for? <laughs> okay. So then one day in one of her videos, she has two blue lines of makeup on her face. Yeah. And then the fans Googled that. And apparently two blue lines is a signal for domestic violence. Someone asking for help. Is that what you put on your hand? Like if you're, you draw something, if you're being kidnapped or if you're kidnapped and you want people to know and you're like out in public, you Draw something on your hand. It's like a, a mustache, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> and you put it up to your nose. <laughs> this is a legit thing. Like, no. Uh, yeah. If you are kidnapped uh, out in public, but you can't run away from your captor, there's something you put on your hand. I just Googled, what do you draw on your hand if you're being kidnapped? A dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm. 
I'm not making this up. Melissa, Google it because I don't see it. You on hand. How about if they give you a pen that you uh, just write a note and drop it somewhere? Yeah, well, like that'd be great if you have a pen. Like, how do you get the pen? Why am I not seeing anything? I yeah. swear to God, I read I think this. You dreamed it. That's a genius idea if I well, dream I, this. 12 signs that you can help recognize a child kidnapper. But that's the kidnapper, not the kidnapped. <laughs> okay, seven things you should know if you're ever abducted. Wow, I love, I love this website, though. It's all animated, like how to find a kidnapper. And it's just like an animation of this guy being like, I've lost my dog. Can you help me look for it? Whoa, look at this one for how to spot a kidnapper. It's a guy on a Harley. And he's going up to a group of kids saying, who's the bravest and wants a ride? <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. Yeah, I am, daddy. The Black Dot <laughs> campaign. That's for like suicide. No, victims the of domestic dot. violence can secretly signal for help by drawing a black dot on the palms of their hands. Wait, this is on Snopes.com. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but it's a real thing. How to hold your hands if you are tied up. The more loosely your hands are tied, the more likely it is that you will be able to oh. slip your hands out of your bonds. Appear, yeah, <laughs> appear to offer your hands to be tied together by the wrists, but keep your elbows tucked into the sides of your waist rather than extending your arms straight out in front of you. Oh, so you can keep space This should create them. more slack. Oh, that's, that's a, a, good, that's a good tip. Titties look big. Yeah. So, <laughs> when the moment comes, you should then be able to slide your hands out of the row. Oh, that's a great tip. Yeah, that's a good tip. Any more hot tips yeah. if you're being abducted? Yes. <laughs> Try to get a feel for your captors their rank hierarchy accents habits names as hard as it may be try to engage them in conversation and establish a rapport nice family sport hobbies are all good things to talk about i'd be i'd, I'd be so like, do you like yeah. football i see you're wearing a football jersey yeah. i'd be like i would be able to talk my way out of being I, uh, I i mean i don't want to I put it out yeah, there. Don't <laughs> don't kidnap me or Melissa or Maria to see if we can I get out of it. I feel like I would be able to just do some reverse psychology. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm fine. Everything's great. Yeah, You'd like, say, this is I so kidnap hey, you. This is great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always eat the food you're given, no matter how unpleasant it is. You'll need the calories. Yeah, you go, yum, yeah. yum, yum. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, you a cook? I don't even, I don't even care to cook. I don't even want to go home. Yeah, I like being this is, here. This is fun. Yeah. Are we married now? What are we? Countries with the <laughs> highest number of kidnappings um, the between office. 2000 and 2015. <laughs> number one is India with 792. Oh my God. I went to Cape Town and Boy. I didn't realize I was there with Martin while he was shooting a TV show and I just like wandered off by myself That's like while dangerous. they're shooting. And one guy, this like jogger who's running by, he's like, you know, there's two guys uh, over there eyeing you, so be careful. And I was like, okay, thanks. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And there were like yikes. two guys, and, and I didn't know that it was like, the crime rate is very high. Yeah, it's really high there. They, they showed that on 90 Day Fiance. Okay. Anyway. Back to the story. Uh, in 2014, Marina also shared tweets with bruises everywhere saying her life was in danger. Oh. So this is before this this whole 2016 thing even happened. So she had a history. She uh, said her life was in danger? Yeah, she... Oh, although weird. her YouTubes are always kind of normal, yeah. every once in a while she'd do some, say, do, say or do something a little weird. Huh. So we had mentioned the party. Yes. On July 26th, in the midst of all this weird stuff happening, she tweets... Meet me at Bethnal Green at 6.30 a.m. Bring a friend so you don't get lost. The thing is that Bethnal Green is a store and it's closed at 6.30 a.m. Yeah. And who has a party or a meet, at gr meet or greet at 6.30 a.m.? Yeah, weird. So people think, people are like, oh my God, there's some sort of terrorist attack. Oh no. That is planning whoever has Marina is planning some sort of bombing or shooting or an attack. Additionally, at this Bethnal Green place in 1943, there was a shooting or an attack and 173 people died. Right. So this place has a history of, you know, violence. Uh huh. In terms of the terrorist attack, one of the theories was that people thought that Marina had been kidnapped by ISIS. Oh, boy. <laughs> so people are like, this is some sort of ISIS ploy, oh, whatever. No. So oh, no. Marina made a video a video discussing the meetup, and 
someone watching the video was like, oh, my God, Marina with her hands is using sign language to say don't go. Yeah, I saw that. too. Yeah. So then everyone starts on the Internet going crazy and they start rewatching all of her old videos and looking for sign language clues and being like, has she been using sign language to ask for help? (laughs) So then people are reading it and they're like, oh, my God, in this one, she's saying help me in this one. She's saying like. I want to die in yeah, this, this one. whole time. She's trying to give everyone signs. Yeah. So then they look back and they start making all this like it's online mass hysteria about, you know, she's been, mm-hmm. you know, like trying to ask for help this whole entire time. So then the police department ends up visiting Marina. Yeah. Because things are going so crazy that it becomes a whole. Because ev- all her fans are tweeting at the police. Yeah. It becomes a whole thing in England where they're like, is there going to be a terrorist attack over yeah. this YouTuber? Yeah. They end up visiting Marina and she's fine. Yeah. She's fine. They said she's home. She's fine. Yeah. There's there's nothing going on. So some theories. Yeah. What do we think was going on with Marina? Well, one of the theories is she had an abusive boyfriend. Yes. But I don't think there were any like substantial evidence to back that up. People were just like, oh, maybe it's her boyfriend because she had like a new boyfriend, apparently. Yeah. But I I don't don't think it was. Yeah. I don't think it was that. Could be drugs. Yeah, so she had a history of doing drugs. Her eyes look crazy. She doesn't really blink. She's talking fast. She's looks like she's in a daze, and she's yeah. just, like, not really moving her face. Just like, hey, guys, what's going on? Look at this. Her pupils are... Yeah, her pupils are very like, either large or, like, very tiny when, like, you do cocaine. <laughs> are those, like, contacts, though? No, that's no. her eyes. Yeah, that's the video where her pupils look huge. Like, what makes her pupils that big? Ecstasy does. Really? What? Um, but does ecstasy make your behave? I've never done E. You know who had big ass eyes like that that were a little bit scary? Was the guy in um, uh, Free Solo? Oh <gasps> yes, yeah. He had those shark eyes, Alex yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that looked like that. I I wonder if that's like a thing or if it's like an adrenaline thing. Oh, oh maybe maybe YouTube gives her a rush. Well, it gives me a rush. That's for sure. Mushrooms makes your pupils big. Hallucinogens. Oh, my God. You think that maybe this is mushrooms again? No, (laughs) Allie. Here we go. (laughs) Here we go. (laughs) It's the mushroom. I agree with you. It could be, though. It's mushrooms. Mushrooms. like Psychedelics. Yeah, psychedelics make your pupils big. Because she did have all these, like, I mean, we'll get into it later, but she does have all these career. Painkillers make your uh, your pupils large. I feel like meth and coke kind of make your pupils smaller. Do they? I don't know. I've done a lot of cocaine. Yeah. Not anymore, though. Yeah. So it could be those things. Yep. It could be a nervous breakdown. It could be. She has a history of being honest about like mental illness, depression, Mm -hmm. stuff like that. This will tie into it. So I'll go into this one now. We are not health professionals. We are not therapists. We are not psychologists. What? (laughs) <laughs> yeah i don't i don't have a med for the 10th time maria i don't have a medical we degree. don't have medical nor stop are we historians us. yeah stop, stop showing us, us your, your weird, weird things rashes. on your body <laughs> <laughs> um but i watched uh i watched an interesting uh person who works in a health clinic uh who works with schizophrenics talk about the videos of marina joyce mm-hmm. and she she said that perhaps marina Joyce was schizophrenic. It's possible. And having some sort of breakdown. Because she said that Marina exhibited, displayed a lot of mania, Mm -hmm. depression, Uh, delusion, because she'd have, she would go into like extreme fits of crying and then talk about how she thought like she was the one. Oh, I didn't see those. Yeah, there were crying. She was like, my dream. She's like, I am the one. It means so much to me. I know that I'm the one. And my dream is I'm going to save all the animals and no animals will ever die ever again. Um, Like I know how to save the planet. I have a, I have a plan to save the planet and then she also exhibited something called the person said it's called word salad yeah which is where you don't like use complete sentences you just kind of ramble and don't make any sense and go from one place to another so the person had explained that maybe it was suffering from schizophrenia or mania yeah i have a friend who had all of these exact symptoms really and she was going through like severe bipolar like mania had to go to a mental hospital because she was like 
you know, talking about how like I I am the one I need to do this and I'm responsible for everything and right. like nothing made sense and she was like either just like super like speedy or like I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. And it was like it was very similar. Yeah. Behavior to this. Again, so, we are not diagnosing. No. Nor are we saying that this is bad. No, it's just a mental disorder. It's just a mental disorder. You take medication and, and you're done so. And you're done so. Yeah. So, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so where is she now? We're, you're, we're, you're, you're, you're like you're ahead? jumping ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> I, <laughs> well, yes. we're, we're literally well, we, there because there's something exciting happened recently. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Also, we talked about we. Some people thought she was caught by ISIS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just because she she had the people thought the bruises, the shackles, yes. the bars on the window, and then the ski mask in the yes. reflection of her eye. But because on August fifth, twenty sixteen, which was like right around this time, she posted this video called Summer Lookbook. I didn't see that. And it's the one I was talking about where she's just, for four minutes, she's just dancing around showing clothes. Well, and I'd buy that. <laughs> yeah, she's, it's just you're, her You're already doing wearing that. it. It's just her doing that. And like, she also has the crazy eyes and her, the, yeah, it's where her pupils are like huge. Yeah. Oh my God. It's and crazy. she's, yeah, she's kind of like slowly like, oh my God. Like, hey guys, buy this. Outfit. Do you think it's heroin? Uh, that's pot. I mean, yeah, she's a little like lackadaisical. Yeah, she really goes up and down. Wow, that yeah, I would really suggest we'll tweet the videos also yeah, that are yeah. crazy. Well, yeah, I would suggest looking at date ideas and summer lookbook are both really loco brains. That's it. keep it in, but <laughs> that was insensitive. <laughs> To call someone who might be crazy loco brains. Yeah, weird. Yeah. In an interview, because people were like, after this whole thing happened and the police came and they said she was fine, she did kind of like a apology to her. Oh. Yeah. In an interview, she was like, oh, the reason my YouTube's changed so much is because I used to be like not really religious and then I became a born again Christian and now I'm a Buddhist. So as I was finding my spiritual spirituality, like everything kept changing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. A year later in 2017, she publicly came out and denied all of the theories. She said they're all lies and all the clues in her videos were actually indicators of her mental health. She uploaded a video in March 2017 called Saving Marina Joyce, where she said, I did suffer from depression. It was so bad. It hurts me to this day to think of all the reckless things I did that showed that I did not care about my life. Things that I would look back upon and feel so grateful that I'm still alive. I lived in isolation of what happened to me of people not understanding what I was truly going through. So she admits to having depression yeah and then she also said talked about the bruises she said the bruises said it all i'm glad you all noticed because i was going through a really rough time well, i don't i don't know but what like, that means because so. the bruises were on her arms and her back so yeah. that that indicates someone else yeah i don't know or you're wasted and you're falling over yeah and she said the save marina joyce hashtag was the final tipping point for her to get better and stop making horrible decisions. So maybe she was doing drugs or drinking. Yeah. And maybe that's how she got all the bruises and maybe that caused her depression. Yeah, maybe it's all together. Or maybe she joined ISIS first and maybe she joined like, ISIS. I gotta get out of there. Yeah. So Marina Joyce now, if you look at her YouTube, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, she's still making videos. Her last video was November 2019. Wow. Okay. But what's weird, she talks about how she's back and she's going to post videos every week, but the comments are turned off. Weird. So that's the last one. Wow. What's crazy is when I I watched that video, I clicked on it, the ad that popped up before, Shen Yun. You've got to be kidding me. I clicked on it last night. I was watching a video and I was like, why is there a Shen Yun ad? Stop it. Yes. That's crazy. It was. Wow. So recently, though, Marina went missing. Yeah, again. In 2019, Maria, okay. I mean, Marina went Marina, missing, Maria. Maria. <laughs> okay. So on August 7th, 2019, Marina Joyce was reported missing. 
London Hangarangi police went on Twitter. The post is now deleted and asked for help. They said, can you help find Marina Joyce, 22 years old, missing from Harangi, last seen on 31st of July, reported missing to the police on August 7th. She went missing for 10 days and then she was found. Mm -hmm. The police were actively looking for her, but her boyfriend posted this really long thing on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Being like, Marina's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But then when the police was were asking him where she was, the, he wouldn't, like, cooperate. Oh, really? Yeah. But he, he posted this thing being like, she's fine. But the police were actively looking for her. Oh, weird. Yeah. But then she was found. Hmm. and But no real information is talked about where she was, yeah. what she was doing, anything like that. Yeah. I feel like she's posted a couple videos since then. Yeah. But in every video, it's like, I'm back now and I'm going to be doing this every week. But right. she doesn't do it. Yeah. So it's weird that she disappeared and then never really addressed it yeah. and then just came back. So, I mean, maybe that maybe she went on a drug binge. Yeah. Maybe she had to go be a stint at the mental yeah. institution. I think that's most well, likely. She says here on Twitter, I never went missing in the first place. Also, Brandon, her boyfriend, mm -hmm. has been so loyal throughout all this. So don't trust anybody but him when somebody says something because he's the one who knows everything and is my closest and protects me more than any other person out there. When did she tweet that? O October 9th, 2019. Okay. Wow. Okay. Seems like we shouldn't trust anyone but Brandon. Okay. Well, I, I know I don't. I don't trust anyone but Brandon. No, I trust Brandon. Okay, well, she's been... She's been posting uh, like a lot since Jan, not since January 9th. She hasn't posted anything. It's over a month ago. What was her last tweet? I swear by this red lipstick. And if I look at the first letter of each of these, it's. <laughs> oh, no. Is. Bithr Does it spell Isis? <laughs> no. Uh, one before that is the way he smiles I when he kisses you. Swear. You. Bye. This red lipstick. Oh, I S B T R L. And then her boyfriend is Total Brandon Mehmed. And he posted on February 5th a picture of a cat's foot and he just and then he just wrote foot. Oh shit. It's a good post. That actually is. I'd like that it. is that foot. that's it's just cute. like uh, Melania Trump when it's she posted so the dolphin <laughs> oh, yeah. being like, What is it thinking? <laughs> <laughs> foot. <laughs> In her videos now. It's, she's all she's weird look she's she talks about being a celestial being she's super agey mm. her videos are like how to become spiritual fun spiritual things to do she has that boyfriend her she has like her makeup is all and why do people like her on youtube like what got her famous it was just like the beginning yeah. of youtube where randomly you either make it or you don't you're just your personality and you know yeah people... she was just this like 16 year old girl just posting like here are my outfits here's what i do and it was yeah. like kind of a new thing to do back then yeah because she started in 2014 right when you know i think youtube was yeah youtube beginning. bloggers were like a big thing yeah you don't think those could have been contacts no because her eyes are still like that yeah, she has very blue, light blue eyes. And big, big, big eyes. She is, they still look, all respect to Marina, a little crazy. And by crazy, you mean mentally ill? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't mean like mental problem crazy. I you mean know how like, when you can see the top white of people's eyes? Yes. Uh -huh. That means they're a sociopath. What? Is that true? You yeah, know but you can it's... see like the, like if you look at someone's eyes and you see the white on top <gasps> of... Lies. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that true? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> In my medical opinion. Yeah, we're yes. doctors. <laughs> so she calls her followers her sacred moon cat tribe. Yeah, like she's a little... What if she turns into a cat? At night? What At if night? she's like, like a wear cat? <laughs> what if she's foot? <laughs> yeah, that's her foot. That's what oh, he posted. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, foot. That's when her, she goes that's missing, she goes, yeah. She's a jell... Mr. Mistopheles, <laughs> oh Jellicles. now a cat so clever as ever, a cat Home so clever Home. as magical Marina To Joyce. the river and nectar of eternity, <laughs> allow me to drink from your safe haven and swim into forever. What are you when reading? did you write that? Is it your diary? <laughs> <laughs> That's Marina. Home sweet home to the river and nectar of eternity. Allow me to drink from your safe haven and swim into forever. 
I get it. Do you want me to put that on a card for you to give to Martin, <laughs> Melissa, for Valentine's well, Day? Yeah, thank you. I've been meaning to <laughs> write him a weird poem. <laughs> so, I mean, that... <laughs> Have you guys seen this the High Walter YouTube video? No, what's that? Do you know that? what I'm talking about? No. I think it's from over 10 years ago. It's this guy who's like talking Like hi Walter. He's talking into his webcam and he's just as like, "Hi Walter, I have a new girlfriend. Uh, I met blah 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 blah." And then it cuts to him carrying the camera. He goes into his basement. He opens the closet door. There's a girl and they're tied up and she's screaming and the video just ends. And so, and there's no description on the video. So people thought it was like this missing girl. And it's just sounds like a hoax. It wasn't though. It ends up that it was a hoax. Oh, wow. But like for years, people were like, oh my God, because there's no description on this video. It's just this dude. But like 10 years later, they finally found him. Big YouTube hoax. Right now. Yeah, this video was confirmed to be fake, but still very disturbing. Then also, someone said, where is Arch von Creepy Pasta? (laughs) Punch <laughs> ear. What does that mean? I don't know. I think it's in German. Let's translate. Hilda only knows ten, <laughs> a couple words. Who's also from Creepy Pasta here? Is what it means. Oh, awesome! Wow. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> mind, mind so opening. anyways <laughs> if you have any uh first of all we really suggest you going to youtube and looking at marina joyce videos yeah you can go down a real rabbit hole of just like what is she doing we were both doing that all night long yes. it was wild we'd love to know your theories so that we'd really appreciate that melissa where can people find us online you can find us on twitter and instagram at webcrawlers pod you can email us at webcrawlerspod at gmail.com. We've been getting some great emails, which we usually read on our Friday bonus episode. Yes. So keep sending in your weird stuff. We have a really good one coming up this yeah, Friday. Yeah, episode. Yeah, about a, a, a letter. Oh, yeah, a I, I, I love that one. Can't wait. Is this her Tumblr? All. Did you look at her Tumblr? Oh, no, she has a Tumblr. Is it it's, automatically posting like Elisa Lambs? I don't know, but it's a lot of pictures of um, beautiful... Um, forests <laughs> okay we met at the wrong time oh no <laughs> that's what i keep telling myself anyway maybe one day years from now we'll meet in a coffee shop in a faraway city somewhere and we could give it another shot okay that's maria well, i'm <laughs> ali siegel and i'm M- M- melissa and we're the web crawlers bye, bye. <laughs> Original. Powered by ACAST.